they were doing a side hustle tier list so you know which side hustle is the best and why so let's dive right into it first things first we have affiliate marketing i'm gonna put it into b tier the reason why is because i know some people who've made a lot of money through affiliate marketing however the way that most people showcase it on youtube and the social media platforms is incorrect the way the real affiliates do it is they find products for example they find a company that provides and installs solar panels for homes and what they do they run ads on social media and get leads get people who are interested to having their solar panels installed in their homes they sell these leads off the solar companies and as a result they get paid per each lead they bring in and maybe for them each lead might cost five dollars and the company pays them 20. up next we have dog walking i'm gonna give us an f tier the reason why is because it can be a great way for you to build up money however it it's not going to build you any skill. And when you do these side hustles, you want to be able to see the skill you're able to build. For example, with affiliate marketing, you can learn how to do media buying, how to run ads. And that could be a skill that follows you in all the other business ventures. With dog walking, anyone can walk a dog. So you're not going to be paid a lot. It is decently easy to get started. You don't have to have any overhead, unlike affiliate marketing, really. Not my favorite. Up next is blogging. And I'm going to give it a D tier. With blogging, you can learn how to write and learning how to write is a massively important skill online. However, the issue with blogging is if you build a site, johndoe.com and start writing blogs on it, no one's going to visit. So you're not going to make any money from it. It cannot be a side hustle. This can be a hobby, but not a side hustle. An alternative that's better is you writing content on Twitter about a specific topic. It might be covering esports events, whatever you know you're passionate about. Because if you write content, it's great and people tune in and follow you you and listen to you you can start to build an audience and monetize it blogging only makes sense if you have an audience and if you don't don't even bother i'd say go onto twitter and write there it's going to be more impactful for you up next car washing i'm gonna give this an f tier again same as dog walking not many skills you can learn from it you know you wash cars the best thing you might be able to do from that and from dog walking is to go into wealthy neighborhoods and wash their cars maybe network with the owners of the houses but other than that yeah, not really a great side hustle in my opinion. Then I'm next, starting a clothing brand. I'm going to give this a C tier. E-commerce and selling stuff online is great. However, a clothing brand can be a real burden. If you, for example, have one product, you need to buy small, medium, large, XL, maybe double XL, excess. For one product, you need to hold so much inventory and it can be difficult to scale. So clothing brand can be something that can drains money from you. To really succeed, you need to go in a niche. You can't just start an next Zara and just start manufacturing clothes at scale or creating designs that sell at scale. No, instead you should be going after a niche community. If you like cameras, you can go after the people who are in the camera industry, who are in the filmmaking and create shirts and hoodies for them that have relevant designs for them if you go after niche it's a lot better uh, and you can test these products through tiktok up next we have drop shipping i'm gonna give this a b tier as well the issue with this model is that you need a lot of money to get started like if you have nothing you know you might need two 5k in startup costs and you might be losing all that money if you don't know how to run paid ads it could be difficult drop shipping is a great way for you to start a brand initially. If you do dropshipping, you learn how advertising works online, then you can move that skill set into building a brand or into starting, for example, Facebook ads or Pinterest ads agency. That can be a great skill. But if you do dropshipping to make money, there's a lot of issues that arise that a lot of people don't see. Then up next, we have Airbnb. Ooh, Airbnb can be an interesting one. I'm going to give it an A tier. The reason why is I know people who are doing Airbnb arbitrage. Like, for example, they've gone to Thailand. They rent an apartment and they rent it on Airbnb. They're making great money. Those are people who used to do dropshipping and now they switched over that business model. And also with Airbnb, you can have management companies go out to other Airbnb hosts and try to tell them, hey, look, you know, we'll manage your five properties for you. This is how much it costs per property, yada, 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 you know, this is the ROI. And if you get into real estate, you'll know which properties are good, which properties are not so good. And then you can work with investors, maybe with people like me in the future, build a fund where I can invest and you'll, you know, you'll buy properties or houses with that and rent them out in Airbnb maybe you get into the rental business. So I think this hustle can grow into something bigger. And that's how I'm rating them as well. Like what's the, what's the growth potential from this side hustle into the skill set uh, later. Freelancing, S tier easily. You don't need any money to get started. You can just go on Upwork. You can go on Twitter and talk about, you know, the skill you want to learn and start learning it. If you already have a skill, great. 
All you need to do is to find a client. You can do it through social media, through cold emailing. You gotta narrow down and find your target audience. Freelancing is great. I believe it's a great way to supplement your income and, and replace your job. And if you already have a skill set, you can start by freelancing and then you can turn into an agency once you see enough demand. Once people are coming to you, you produce results are so great, people come to you. So freelancing S tier easily, it can grow into so many different things. No, no money needed to get started. You just need a laptop and you're golden. Then I'm next starting a course. I've actually sold courses before we had a painting course at 20k a day i was involved with a company called motivated fit it was created by jennifer lopez's private trainer this is an eight tier with courses it can be very difficult to start and scale like bonus of courses is you have no cost of goods if you sell a course you practically have no operational costs unless you know you start enrolling more team into it then you have you know your fixed overhead your operational costs but besides that you don't have really any product costs besides software if you know how to market online starting a course is great uh, it's just a little bit different than most people would market and you sometimes need to be more aggressive with it. Then I'm next, yard work. This one, I'm actually going to be giving into D tier. I think yard work, this is some a way how I started as well through mowing lawns. It's very similar to dog walking and car washing, but I believe with yard work, you can kind of scale that up a little bit, go into multiple people, you know, but they're all very similar. D or F tier could be both ways. Uh, YouTube, I'm going to give it a C tier. The reason why is because you're probably not going to make a lot of money from it. However, you are going to be able to learn how to edit videos, how to talk in front of camera, how to be more confident. That's what I did as well. The reason why my English is good, and by the way, I'm not a native English speaker, is because I was making YouTube videos as a kid. There still are YouTube videos of me playing Minecraft, of me going to the gym, and me teaching how to do workouts. And these skills just really follow you throughout your whole life, and it's something great. It's probably not going to make you the most money, but you can build the skills that in return can help you make money. Like if you're a very good video editor, if you enjoy video editing, you can do video editing for others, maybe even for me. <laughs> uh, then I'm next, Amazon FBA. I'm gonna give this a C tier. You need to learn how Amazon's algorithm works. Like if you follow the right people and shout out to a person I know who's legit in the space, Neil Twa, not a lot of followers, but very legit and he does make income through this. What you're gonna learn is how to run operationals and operations and supply chain. I'm actually gonna put this into B tier because if you know how to do the supply chain, how to build products and you go through through that process, you're able to go out to other brands and help them do the same, or even help people who are running Shopify stores bring their product into Amazon. Last but not least, OnlyFans. OnlyFans is an easily S. No, I'm joking. Uh, to be fair, you know, you do you. I'm gonna get it an F tier. OnlyFans, you can look at it as you starting an OnlyFans agency and pimping girls, right? Or you know, you can be the girl on OnlyFans or guy on OnlyFans. I don't really think that would be the best one to go down. I, I, I would kind of maybe put it in B tier, like genuinely, because you can get some skills through that. If you're really good at Instagram marketing, you can do OnlyFans agencies and scale them up quite nicely through content and getting people to the link. But is it something that you really want to spread in the world? I'm not so sure. But look, you do you. Uh, if that's the side hustle works for you, perfect. Now, as you've watched this video to the end, I know you want to build a successful future. That's why I want you to tap this video here and watch this next because it's going to help you build your skills further so you can increase your income. So tap here.